So race six here on day one of the Cheltenham Festival is the David Nicholson Mayor's Group 2 hurdle event over two and a half miles. For five year olds and up, number one is Painter's Fault for Jim Murray, two Black Benny for Molly at Surfer, three and four comes to fruition and fruits of your labours for Joshua Sutherland, five is Kate Burley for Paul Rhodes, six is Montrose for David Robertson, seven Paratus for Tam King, eight Rio Naranka for Darren Thompson, and nine is Smoke on the Sunset for Martin Leadham. Just nine of them for this G2 event here, the David Nicholson Mayor's. The girls are off. Two and a half miles. Get to the first hurdle shortly. Eight. I have to negotiate. Imagine most of these will skip over fairly easily. We're in a fairly tight group together. Most of them taking a hold. Obviously starting the strange old place over this two and a half miles here. Course, mind you, you need a map. How the jockeys know what they're doing when they go around Cheltenham with all these rails and different fences, different hurdles. I really don't know. I'm surprised there's not more errors. But it's Montrose that's going to leave us at David Robertson from Painters Fort Jim Murray, the Scottish Connections, uh, leading over the first hurdle. Although the Painters Fort was a little bit slow over it, Montrose took it reasonably enough. Now, why these paratas of Tam King up against the fences, fruits of your labours? is one of two horses for Josh Sutherland in this race. Comes to fruition as the second one. He's come here mob-handed to try and pick up the David Nicholson. But it's Montrose that leads us from Painter's Fall in second. Then we've got Black Benny Paratus and Fruits of Your Labour. And Kate Burley, Smoke on the Sunset and the Purple Silks, comes to fruition. And Rio Naranka. So as they're going to come past the grandstand, they finally get to the second hurdle. They're over it. Swing off left-handed now. Away from the stands, taking the outside course, and it's Montrose from Painter's Fort, Fruits of Labour against the fence, Black Benny of Molly and Surfer, and then the White Silks of Kay Burley, outside of those, a smoke on the sunset in the Rio Naranka, the Grey Paratus has moved on to, to the inside now, and crumbs to fruition, just bringing up the rear. So still a mile and a quarter to travel, and it's Montrose from Painter's Fort, Fruits of Your Labours. K. Burley, Black Benny. And skip over the third. Mr. Frushing didn't land particularly well. Almost single file now. It's Montrose. Moves further away here. Gets to the fourth. Head of the rest. Really slow jump at the rear by Paratus has moved him down into last. But it's Montrose that leads us by about five to K. Burley. Fruits of your labour, painters fought us together, smoke on the onset, sunset on the outside, inside of those black Benny for Molly at Surfer. Moving a little bit better now is Rio Naranka, widest of all is, I think, comes to fruition. And then the grey at the back is Paratus. As we come down with a mile from home, and there's still only a couple of hurdles to go. It's Montrose that still leads them by about three to painters fought in second. Kate Burley is third, Fruits of your labour and black Benny fight out fourth and fifth. They get over the six, another poor jump there by Painter's Fault. Jim will be pulling his hair out if he continues over the hurdles like that. With just two to jump, it's Montrose. By about one and a half to Black Benny and Kay Burley. Painter's Fault still there, fruits of your labours. Then a length further back to Paratus, the grey comes to fruition and Rio Naranka. And another length back just to smoke on the sunset that's uh, being pushed along a little bit now. Getting caught for pace, but it is still Montrose up front, still by a couple. Black Benny in second. Five furlongs left to travel. Just two more hurdles to negotiate, and it's Montrose that's going to lead them into the penultimate. From Black Benny, Painter's Fault pushing through again. They get to the seventh. They're all over it. And it is Montrose that still leads. So half a mile left to travel. Montrose from Black Benny. Paratus, Painter's Fault moving well on the outside now is Comes to Fruition. But it's Montrose finally going to get start to get headed now by Comes to Fruition on the outside. But Montrose has got other... Other ideas as he continues to stay in the lead by just half a length inside the two and a half with just one hurdle to take. It's Montrose from Come to Fruition. There are a couple of lengths from Paratus and Black Benny. Painters fault. Fruits of your labour. K. Burley. Smoke on the sunset and Rio Naranka. But inside the furlong and a half, it's Montrose. Gets over the last best and gets away from it well. Comes to Fruition was slow, but it's Montrose now inside the furlong. Up the hill here at Cheltenham. Montrose from Comes to Fruition. Paratus trying to run on Black Benny, but Montrose is just hanging on behind. 
over here comes come to fruition. Montrose comes to fruition. Montrose. Montrose. And it's going to be a win for Montrose. Hung on well there from Josh Sutherland's come to fruition. A great win there for David Robertson. Takes the David Nichols and Mayors Group 2 hurdle event here with Montrose. The salt tyres are flying. So Montrose takes that. Second was comes to fruition for Josh Sutherland. Third was the grey paratus for Tam King. Fourth was Josh's horse fruits of your labour. Fifth was Black Benny for Molly at Surfer. And we'll move on to the next.